Okay guys, just a real quick video on what's going on here. So as you can see, I've got uh, one of the costs are running just fine. I uh, replaced the hot end, the print end, and it's, uh, it's running a, a quick print roll just fine. Now what I'm trying to do is just correct this one here. Like I said, I had to replace the mega board and the ramps board. Sorry, this is getting out of focus. I'm going to see if I can fix that. Anyhow, I've replaced all of the stepper drivers uh, and all the jumpers are new. They're actually, you guys provided them with the last ramps board you sent me. And so now what's happening is, is that the Z, which is this one here, for some reason it is climbing when I try to do a G29 prompt. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm, I'm doing it with matter control right now. Let me go ahead and see if I can get a focus here. Okay, so if I do it with matter control, I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect. I use, I did it with printer face too, it was doing the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and connect to the printer. Da -da. Sorry, this is taking a moment apparently. Okay, so now we're connected. I'm going to go ahead and go to the command prompts here in the terminal. Just like you would in printer face, it's the same thing. And I'll just show you here. First of all, I'm going to do the... Um, just to check in with all the probes, they should all be open. Um, I've checked all four. When they trigger, they trigger just fine. So if I do a G28, the homing prompt, you're going to see here that it homes with no problem. Sending now. Okay. And they'll all trigger the end stops. Sorry, it's out of focus again. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the G29. It's literally I'm going to do G29 space Z 3.0 uh, as I would if I'm trying to configure uh, the Z gap. So I'm going to type in here, you guys want to see, G29 space Z 3.0. Okay, as soon as I hit send, watch what happens here. It's just like it's trying to climb through the roof. But it's only the Z that does that. The rest are vibrating, but it's all because of what's going on here with this motor. It's just, it's trying to climb vertical as opposed to going down. And if I inverse, if I invert the wires down here, if I swap these wires, flip them around like this, then uh, it ends up doing the same thing, but going the opposite direction. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. That is just disturbing and probably throwing off my other part. Anyway, um, I hope this video has helped show the problem I'm having. And I appreciate your time, guys.